Okay, this is another little Evelina chat uh, for the people. Um, I'm kind of doing this for Salty Girl, because uh, since she likes Rome Total War, and uh, one of the factions you can play in Rome Total War are the Spanish, and the Spanish have Bull Warriors, um, which, you know, I, I think it's kind of weird, it's kind of interesting, because you basically have uh, Native American culture, and you have European Greco-Roman culture, and Greco-Romans... Uh, they are very much mastery of animals, very much, you know, no, there's no human-animal combination. It's very, you know, it's taboo for one thing, but it's also that, you know, th there is no idea that, you know, their animals have a distinct spirit and that you can, if, you know, you can uh, impersonate or you can bring that spirit into yourself or channel that spirit, you know, through like a totem even. Uh, you know, there's no, animals don't have spirits, you know, even, that are equivalent to humans, you know, there's no real communication. If an animal does communicate with a human being, it's because it's through the power of a god. You know, that's how the spirits speak to, you know, human beings. So it's like, there, there's God, which is a very human-like, you know, being, uh, a, you know, humans, which are human-like beings, and there's animals, which, you know, aren't, because uh, they're more like, you know, beasts to be hunted and, you know, basically used. Um, now you have uh, Native American culture, where, you know, uh, the spirits, you know, the animal spirits and whatnot, they're very much, um, uh, you know, it's like there's a bond, there's a relationship that exists between man and the animals. And it's uh, the two interacting together, and the two deciding, you know, like, you know, that, okay, well, one must give up their life in order for the other one to live, but, you know, we will give back, and we will give thanks to this animal for giving us its life. And you kind of see that throughout, and that's where the mythology even, you know, the stories of like you know the animal spirits and how they communicate with man, and basically you know they, they kind of play jokes, but they kind of work with man as well. Uh, they're working for you know, you know the continuing continuance of the culture and the continuance of the people. Now, so I'm watching this program on the Science Channel, and they're talking about how one ice age and uh, just huge ice sheaf. Uh, shelf which extended all the way down to basically you know even encompassed all of Britain. Uh, and so that, you know, some Europeans from, uh, like, about Spain even, they kind of started migrating out on this ice shelf. And, you know, were, they were ba you know, basically Inuit, they're Eskimos in nature, you know, because they're, they're, fo they're following the seals and they're, you know, that's what they're hunting and that's what they're, you know, living off of. But they just kind of kept extending along this ice shelf, you know, staying toward near the water. And they would, like, work their way and eventually ended up, like, into modern-day Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. Um, and, you know, kind of settled there. You know, they were able to establish themselves there. Uh, later on, or at the same time, the Native Americans were there. So, you know, it's kind of questionable, like, you know, who was there, or what was going on, or maybe the Europeans got there first, then the, uh, the Asian, you know, migratory people, the Native Americans came in, or who knows. But, uh, they know they are linked because of, like, certain fossils, or, like, certain, uh, tools, which were found, and these were, like, Stone Age tools. Uh, and then also the genetic markers, which you can find in both uh, Europe and in Native Americans. So it's like, you know, there was some, you know, inter-nation, uh, inter, you know, you know, basically racial uh, intermixing of these two people. So I thought it was very interesting. And I thought that perhaps even some of this Native American culture and spirit transferred to Spain. Because in Spain, you know, like, modern-day Spain you got the bullfighting, but before that you had bull warriors. And it was kind of like, you know, the, these men who took on the aspects of a bull, and that's how they fought as warriors. And I think that, you know, that's kind of similar to Native Americans, where you have jaguar warriors, and, you know, guys taking on, you know, like, where they're like coyotes, you know, there's this, or they're the wolf, you know, they, they try to take on these different aspects of the animal to enhance themselves. And I think that's a difference in uh, religious, you know, or, or just like, you know, spiritual, you know, bond to the, you know, to the land, and how you view it. So... Yeah, just one of the things I noticed and wanted to talk about with you guys.